Our justice correspondent, Bob Warren Washington, has been covering this story from the beginning. And, Bob, this package contains some very disturbing material. Katie, no doubt about it. The letter and the photos you mentioned are very troubling indeed. And there's more evidence that Jiverly Wong set out last Friday morning expecting to die in his mission of violence. Before killing 13 people at the American Civic Association in Binghamton, Jiverly Wong dropped his death manifesto in the mail. The package arrived today at News 10 Now, a cable television station in Syracuse. Three photos of Wong with his guns and a rambling handwritten letter in which Wong railed against police, accusing them of taunting and torturing him. He confessed in the letter, writing, I am Jiverly Wong, shooting the people. And he tried to explain, I cannot accept my poor life. But before I cut my poor life, he wrote, he intended to take at least two people with me. Wong, who wore body armor and carried two handguns in the spree, fully intended to die in the rampage. He apologized in the letter for poor language skills, writing, I want to say sorry, I know a little English. But he offered no apology for the horror he had carefully planned. And the letter closes with a most chilling sign-off. And you have a nice day. The letter and the photos now have been turned over to the FBI, and police will not comment until the behavioral experts at the FBI have a chance to review the whole package. But it's very clear that Wong copied the actions of Sung Hui Cho. He was the Virginia Tech gunman who mailed his own manifesto the same morning he killed 32 people two years ago.